So it's a very good exercise to do to maintain your car and make sure they're always nice and clean. Hello everyone, this is Nick from Hearns and today I'm going to talk about how to clean um, diecast cars. Specifically, I have here a, a resin model. So if you have uh, familiar with our YouTube channel, we did a video a couple of years ago with BJ where we explained the difference between different uh, type of model cars, scale model cars, specifically the difference between the diecast and the resin. Obviously a huge price difference and there's a huge debate on um, which model is better. Obviously diecast have opening doors, but the resin models have uh, much more detail. So if you have a chance, go back and check out the video. It's, uh, it's definitely interesting and let us know what you think. But most importantly, once you start collecting these cars, you need to maintain them and keep them clean. Obviously, even if they have a case, which often the resin cars have a case, the dust will still go in and you wanna keep them uh, nice and tidy. So what I have here is a range of tools that I suggest to use when you, when you uh, want to do a bit of maintenance. Uh, and I'm gonna run you through the tools just now. So, um, first important thing is, uh, is, a, is a brush. This is a typical makeup brush, really soft and broad. Um, then I have one of our paint brushes, a bit smaller, which helps you to go into the details. This is a nine step brush. Um, I also have a, uh, an airbrush here, which I'm not gonna use with paint, but it's very, useful uh, if you need to blow off some, some, um, some dust. This is obviously gonna produce a very uh, gentle steam of air that helps uh, to uh, clear the dust without damaging anything. Obviously it needs to be clean. Um, so before you use it, if you use it for painting, make sure you put through some thinner and just clean it truly, let it dry. So there's no paint or thinner whatsoever coming out of the airbrush. And finally, I have a, a cleaning cloth. This is a very fine and soft cloth similar to what you use to clean your uh, sunglasses perhaps, but this is specifically designed for, uh, for polishing. We use this when we polish model kits uh, and finish them up to have this really shiny uh, finish that you see on some of these models. The last thing that is very important uh, when you handle this car is to put some gloves. The reason I suggest this is because you wanna have a good grip. The, these bases and the cars can be quite slippery and I suggest some of uh, these latex gloves so that the car doesn't slip away from you. So I'll put the gloves on and we're gonna, we're gonna start working on them. So when you work on raising cars specifically, even more than when you work on, on the die cast, you need to be very, very careful because they have a huge level of details, but they are very, very delicate at the same time. So if you just have a quick look uh, at this car, you can see some of the badges are, are photo edge. The Ferrari badge is photo edge. So obviously they're glued, but you need to be very careful how you, how you treat them. The, in general, when you are looking at the racing car, the windscreen and all the windows are very, very thin. They're thin for reason because they give you that more realistic look. Uh, there's no distortion that you have when you have a thicker plastic, so they're extremely thin. So you need to be very careful how you touch them. I wouldn't touch them at all. And so that's where we're gonna use um, this type of uh, soft brush. So let's get started. So I'll put the, the cleaning cloth aside uh, and Generally speaking, you want to start with a with a bigger brush, and you just give a clean all around, right, really broad clean. Be very very gentle on it, to not leave any uh, any marks. So or, or be, being careful that you you don't catch any of the details, like the the uh, windows windscreen wipers at the front here. Just give the brush all around. You have the wheels, the side mirrors. You need to be very careful. Side mirrors can be sometimes very delicate. Also, when you remove the clear cover. The, the, the side mirrors is something that if you're not careful, you could break, just start by touching them. Uh, but as you can see, the level of detail in this car is phenomenal. You've got carbon inserts, you've got different color wheels, uh, calipers, you can see the different materials that are used actually in, in the real car as well. You've got also the, uh, all, the, all the different uh, little holes on the ventilation for the disc brake. So really nice detail. So you go all around, including the base um, and just give it a good soft brush all around. At this point then you can get a smaller brush where you can actually uh, check in, in other parts like in the corners here, if need be, you can just go into a bit more detail, just give it a clean, uh, but again, just being very, very gentle uh, on, on how you, you do this. And you can start looking at where, even against the light where you see some dust, this is a bit of a clear window at the back here, some corners. So you just uh, get a good little brush and remove all the dust. At this point, 
always useful if you have one. Uh, with an airbrush, you can just give it a bit of a bit of a um, spray, so you can see this some difficult area that you can reach with a brush, and sometimes the dust because of of, uh, of of a bit of a kind of electro electricity um, static effect that you have on the body that. Um, dust stays there so just uh, give it a quick spray fortunately the compressor is kicking in now but just this is just a demonstration so I'm gonna quickly turn off the compressor but this should give you an idea once you've done all the dusting um, the last thing that is uh, left to do um, is to check for fingerprints uh, hence why I suggest when you handle this car always to use some um, latex or rubber gloves so that you don't leave any fingerprints but to do so um, we use this very soft cloth here. Um, Tamiya does one and Mr. Color also produces one and what you do you just check against the light and you can be very very gentle and just give it a quick polish and you can remove all the fingerprints uh, or you know any kind of uh, spot that you may have on the body on the body work on the paint and this cloth is designed to polish so we just give you a very nice shiny finish to uh, your uh, your car. So once you've done all this, you put back your uh, clear case and you should be good to go. So it's a very good exercise to do to maintain your car and make sure they're always nice and clean. And it's important to use the right tools to prevent any, any damage. So once again, to be very careful to um, not damage any of the small details. It can be small antennas, can be window wipers, um, any flaps or whatsoever. Some of these cars really have uh, some really fine carbon uh, carbon flaps and skirting all around so just be very gentle there and if you have an, an airbrush just give it a quick spray so the, the dust you know flies away and you should be really good to go so um, that's about it it's a very simple process and doesn't take very long time and should guarantee a beautiful result for your cars and when they're on display they always look nice and shiny if you take your time to give them a routine clean so this is, uh, this is it for today, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments and uh, check out all the other videos we've done on diecast and racing models. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.